hello how are you so today we're gonna tackle how to uh, move an environment from that studio to Unreal Engine 5 more precisely 5.1 so now uh, first we're gonna start a new project here in Unreal let's see we're gonna launch new project where it launches we're gonna do a few cleanups here we have to just drag this to load now all right we're gonna call it we're gonna like third person doesn't matter for now let's call it anything my uh, does and all right so it loaded so first thing we have to do is go to plugins does then does to unreal Let's start now while it restarts let me show you so there's the subterrain here the thing is I'm gonna show you what's the problem. I'm gonna import it as is. First, I'm gonna show you some of the problems so you can avoid them. So if we go to send does to Unreal, do accept here. We have to choose environment. Don't choose any type of meshes. This will make it easier to import specific meshes, objects, and stuff, and keep like. Uh, it more uh, contained start exporting give it uh, a minute so when we switch back to let's see so it is exporting one by one can't uh, really maximize it now because it's preparing uh, the assets for import. Depending on the size of the uh, scene or environment, it will take a bit. I think this will take a couple of minutes, not more. It's not a very big one. As you can see, it's almost finished. We see some errors here, just. Uh, Disregard this, no smoothing. This is usually where FBX uh, plugin I've read it online, which sends like smoothing information so Unreal knows how to handle smoothing versus sharpness. But uh, if you don't, Unreal will uh, decide the kind that type of smoothing. It's usually better to export this with the data, but uh, I think with it does to Unreal, it's harder to do it. It doesn't matter. I've read multiple places that. Uh, to want if I can just disregard it. So we clear this. So now let me just expand it. Alright, so we have the scene here. As you can see there's one problem. This is like the old one here. So I'm gonna delete this. Let me just try and move the floor a bit like this. So this is the scaling. Let me just try and do this. I'll show you the problem here, I think. First of all, there's no floor. We're gonna solve this. Then we have to see like start position, start, player start. All right, let's just move it here. And let's try to play the, so. There's no floor, we use the one that's already in the sample. I know it's still very crude, but we're gonna. Usually, when I use the fall from the ledge, this would actually disappear if it's. Do you see? See what happened? It will only be left with the. And it's hard to go back to it. So, we're, what we're gonna do now is something else. Let's just go here. 
delete all this delete gonna solve this few ways doesn't matter enough for or it's not the final project so what we're gonna do is so you see there's two issues the floor isn't reporting correctly and disappears in the environment sometimes when you fall so so to retain this I'll give you a couple of steps to avoid this so let's go back to that to unveil first thing to do is the problem is here if you press on the on the floor you can see that the terrain is actually the main group so what we're gonna do now is we want to make a main group like create we're gonna use the same this one and we have to create group now and see group name except so now it group those see now this one we have to unparent now sorry one second all right so i'm gonna choose this one all of these so they're now not not parented to this they have to be i'll show you how unparent so all of them are in the same level then we're gonna drag them here so now this is the main one so the terrain is not the main uh, the parent this was over of issues just let us go back here to fix a few things uh, new level so you just do an basic one like this you can just still figuring out what levels are in uh, on the engine i didn't uh, research it to be honest i don't know if levels here is like uh, helps you like develop levels in the game or it's actually like uh, something that encompasses assets and gameplay and and separate like uh, it's like profiles in a way uh or maybe it's, it's a mixtures of mixture of the two I still don't know this, but uh, to avoid the issues for now, we're gonna create a, uh, a level. Now we're gonna delete the floor. We're gonna save changes to make sure. So right now we have this, you can see here. I wanna see, then go to DAS, then export. So with this thing, we've solved two issues. The floor will, will show, hopefully. And the second thing is, uh, we will we'll prevent the disappearing. Just forget the import field now. We're not worried about specific uh, like models and stuff. Of course, you have to solve this. I mean, you're. Uh, Helping the game, but our purpose here is just to import now. Now that I said I didn't see this import uh, issue, just the smoothing. This one had issues, so we're all good. Hopefully, there's. Let's see. See, there's a floor. So we've solved the floor issue. It will add collisions to it automatically. Let's see. I want to revert the mouse movement. Let's see where the player start. Ah, it's no play start because we created. Let us check down. And if you wanna, if you go to the content drawer. You're gonna see like all of them are imported under the DAS. If you wanna like import them into a self-contained folder, 
just go to project settings and does settings and just change the folders here import directory uh, you can have to change it back the reason is uh, that's cacks for exa example we create so directory automatically but this one because it has multiple assets it will create a direct subdirectory for each uh, model or sub models or so okay let's try and see I don't think it will play it might maybe all right all right all right so here is it so it worked another way is to like save level as you don't have to do a new one that way you can return the player start and the other mechanics from the game this one will spawn at the like, camera location i think if you do it that way all right so that's it you can jump around check it out there's some issue here i've noticed i can solve this it's like there's a ramp hidden one i don't know if this is from the template already but you can see it's very nice resolution stuff like that so this is how you import uh, does uh, environment into unveil engine 5 uh, stay tuned for next video uh, now let's see there's something we can do to improve performance let's say you wanted to enable nanite for these there's two options the first option is to like go to project settings and to does here and put select this one this will show the fbx import and you can toggle none but the problem with environments is there's a lot of uh, single uh, uh, assets and models so you have to import it uh, to each and this would stop the import process make it slower and it becomes more prone to errors and it will uh, in my case it failed a few, more than once so I, i've noticed the best thing here is to do it manually but it's not that hard let's go to let lumen uh sorry nanite and just triangles you can see nothing changed so there's no nanite uh, enabled here so let's go back to lit we're gonna go to control and alt uh, and space to see the content lower we're gonna do does type mesh so we have all the meshes here sometimes you don't have to do it for smaller parts uh, i'm gonna select it all for now let's see control all then right click on any of them nanite enable nanite for selected so right now yeah just save this is in the air here it's the model was like that it's not like floating it's not seen can use that part as part of a bigger game i'm gonna link the to the asset and does if you want to purchase it throughout the series they're gonna uh, link stuff to the that i use so right now let's see if we there's it's enabled if nanite is enabled triangles uh you can see it's enabled you see please uh, subscribe and like and comment thanks a lot